Ron Harris here for MuscleDevelopment.com. Coverage of the 2021 Arnold Classic brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. Standing here with Akim the Brooklyn Beast Williams, one of the favorites to win this show tomorrow night. Uh, I'm not going to ask the standard how you feeling. That's played out. Akim, this is, a, this is a show that you've done a few times in the past, but you've never come into it with this type of momentum, this type of physique. You're coming into it now as a top six Olympian. Just won a show a couple months ago uh, in the Bahamas, the Puerto Rico Pro. And, you know, we've been watching your physique evolve and improve over the past few years. How do you feel about this year's Arnold Classic and your chances? Um, I'm definitely, you know, definitely confident, you know, going, going into the show. Um, like you said, I, I just saw I finished sixth place in the, on a, in the Olympia. So, you know, doing this show was, was definitely a, a step in the right direction because it's uh, two weeks before the Olympia. Mm -hmm. So it gives me a chance to even get sharper for the Olympia. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm taking each show one show at a time. I'm going to focus on the Arnold right now and then uh, – bring up the best package I can and hopefully I pull up that win. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I'm glad to see that you're doing this show. Uh, it seems like a few of the people who are qualified for the Olympia, they were afraid to do two back-to-back -back shows with two weeks apart, worried they wouldn't be able to peak. But I've seen guys, especially this season, uh, Ian Valier being one example, getting better and better from show to show. You know, is it, is it something that you've done before? Are you confident that you can look really great here at the Arnold Classic, win that, and then look even better at the Olympia in Orlando in a couple weeks? I mean, tr throughout my whole career, you know, I've been doing a lot of shows, shows back to back and stuff like that, and I've always looked better, you know, which, whichever show I do, keep, if I keep competing, I would look better. So I'm confident that I could uh, pull it off back to back, yeah. you know. So uh, at breakfast this morning, I was sitting next to you and uh, your new coach, who you've worked with in the past too, Abdullah al -Tabi, very, very famous coach, obviously, the Camel Crew, Oxygen Gym Kuwait. How did you uh, how did you link up with him for this this show this season? Well, I've, I've known Abdullah for a long time right now. You know, I lived out in Kuwait for six months uh, back in 2017. You know, so I've been around Abdullah. He knows me very well. We kept in contact. We had a really good relationship and stuff like that. So, you know, it was just a matter of time for me to just you know make a decision on if I you know wanted to switch and work with him. And everything just seemed really perfect. You know, me and him get along really well. And you know, I reach out to him, and he's just like, let's do it. So this is a, you know, you're a favorite, but there's a few favorites, which makes for a much, much more exciting show. I don't like it when there's one guy who is like, well, there's the winner, and now it's going to be a battle for second, third, fourth. Um, how confident are you? Because you're going up against this new kid, Nick Walker, Steve Kuklo, Ian Valier. Who am I leaving out? There's another big dude. Sergio Oliva Jr. Sergio would be pissed if I didn't mention him. You know, it's, it's going to be a battle up there. What do you feel that your physique brings to the table that's going to put you over the edge? I, well, I think, um, one, nobody up there really have the same kind of shape that I got. You know, as far as the muscle density and stuff like that, nobody has that neither. And I have, a, like, my side shots are pretty insane. So, with combined with, you know, good conditioning, really good conditioning, you know, I think I could stand in that winning circle. Yeah, yeah I know we're getting ahead of ourselves talking about the Olympia, but everyone's talking about the Olympia already. It's only a couple weeks away. There are very few people who can stand next to Big Rami and not look outsized. You're definitely on that very, very short list of human beings on this planet right now. Um, say you win this tomorrow night. What, what are your thoughts as far as staying next to Rami and maybe finally getting over the edge and, and getting that title that every pro bodybuilder dreams of? <laughs> you know, I mean, last year at the Olympia, when it got the first call up now, I was actually hoping for a chance to get compared next to him, especially on the side shots and stuff like that, but I didn't get that chance. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this year, you know, I could get that chance, you know, to hit like a few side chest, side triceps, those kind of shots, and uh, front double bicep and stuff like that, and you'll definitely see the difference in the muscle. You know, I'm, I mean, he's a lot bigger than me, but when it comes to muscle and density and stuff like that, I have a lot of it. Yeah, I'm just curious because the Arnold is coming up again in only what is it nine months? What's my math is terrible. It's coming up. Would you possibly do it again, even though it's coming up so soon after doing all these shows this year? I'm not sure, man. I, you know, all depends on how I do in the Olympia. You know, I'll, then I'll make my decision right then. You know, if, if I go in the Olympia and uh, I win or maybe top three or whatever the case may be, then maybe I'll just take some time off and just focus on one show. Because I've never had, like, a real off-season. Since I started competing, I've never had, like, an off-season really? where I just focus on one big show. I've always competed, in, like, three, four shows every year. So wow. it will be nice to just take some time to just let my body heal up and uh, just train for one specific show. Yeah, because, I mean... Let's say you make top five at the Olympia, which I think top five is very, very realistic at the least. That would give you that opportunity to just take an entire year. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking about it. I've, you've never taken uh, all that time off. I remember you've always done, done like two, spring, three shows. Yeah. Fall, yeah. 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 So, yeah, interesting. <laughs> but, you know, you've been pulling it together. It's Your physique holds up. Some guys, they, they show the wear and tear from doing that. But you've been getting better and better, I have to say. You know, I've said this before, but a few years ago, I was like, this guy's got great potential, but he's never going to put it together. It's just, you know, I gave up. I give up on people. And then I'm so happily surprised. I always love to see when you turn it around and surprise the crap out of me and everyone else. And you've definitely been doing that. You know, we always saw the potential with you. Always. But we're like, oh, is he ever going to is he ever going to come in with the condition and all that? And, you know, we're, we're seeing you. And it's crazy because you've been a pro now for how long? I turned pro in 2013, so, God. Eight years, yeah. About eight years, yeah. Eight years. So, typically, it doesn't take that long. Typically, guys hit their peak a little before that, and then they start going on the downslide. But, but I mean, a lot of people don't understand that I have not been uh, training as a bodybuilder for a long time, you know. Mm -hmm. I started really late. You know, I turned pro relatively quick in, like, probably about two years. Did, yeah. like, about two or three shows, and I turned pro. And I didn't have that much training on my belt, so... It takes a while to develop that kind of muscle, you know, to compete with the top athletes in the world. So yeah, I'm fine. What year was your first show? Uh, 2011. Wow. Yeah. And that, your first show, weren't you like 190 pounds or something? Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> and what are you, about 260, 265 right now? About 265 right now, yeah. Okay, well, there you go. That's what it's all about. Progression, growing. It's body building. It's not body shrinking or body maintaining. <laughs> and, you know, you're, you're one of the fan favorites. You're one of the favorites to win the show because people love – to see that combination of the size, the shape, the structure, the presentation, the confidence, and you, you, know, you do bring all that. So everyone's rooting for you. It's an open show, but you're definitely, definitely on the very short list of men that I think we're all considering for that win tomorrow night. So, thank you so much. wishing you the best of luck. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, thank you to all the supporters out there in MD and uh, everybody that reached out to me for the September magazine cover. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was the, uh, the hands over head shot. Yeah. yeah. And that's a shot that very few human beings can look good doing. <laughs> a lot of people I see that pose and like, no, don't do it. Don't do that pose ever again. But that was a great cover. So, yeah, thank you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We're going to see this man on stage tomorrow, 10 a.m. judging, 7 p.m. finals. Can he pull off a win? We're going to find out. Thanks for watching MD's coverage of the 2021 Arnold Classic.